Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous and in today's video, we're going to add an air assist to our Montport 40 watt CO2 laser. So let's get to it. So dad, why would you add an air assist? Well, for several reasons. One, to keep our lens clean. So these Montport lasers do not come with an air assist attached, but you can easily purchase them aftermarket and install onto these Montport lasers. So when I say to keep our lens clean, uh, when you have air blowing out of a nozzle that comes basically out of your lens area, it keeps the smoke and soot from whatever you're burning coming back up and getting all over your lens, uh, making it so that you kind of have to clean it routinely. The second reason is to get cleaner cuts. Uh, so when you have air blowing onto your laser cut, it not only keeps the smoke out of the way, it keeps your keeps flame ups down, so um, kind of like flames coming out of your, your wood or whatever. Um, it makes it so that there's a cleaner cut because it's not burning on top of being cut with the laser. That along with it kind of clears out that soot because the, when the air is blowing that soot away, it makes it so that your laser can actually cut through a little bit deeper uh, and more efficiently. Put it in front of the laser thing. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so now we're just going to replace out this little part here with our new air assist version. And really the only difference is it's got the nozzle that we can add air to. So we're going to go ahead and change this out now. So it's just on screws down here that holds the lens. You to be careful with that because this does not come with a lens or a mirror. So we're going to reuse the mirror that's in there. There's our lens. Put that in the safe spot. The mirror. On really tight. There we go. So you can kind of see the difference between the one with the nozzle and the one without. This one, the little lens holder case, doesn't have anything for a nozzle to connect to. But this one, this is the little lens holder, and it's got this part where we can put a nozzle on like that and we can put an air hose to blow air out so it keeps the lens clean and it kind of cleans out the laser area so it'll be a cleaner burn. So I'm just approximating right now where this should be. We will have to center this so that we can get a good burn with our laser. Like we actually have to do some adjustments. But right now I'm just getting it kind of where I think it should be. And then we'll tighten it in a bit. We'll put our lens in our new lens case. And there is an orientation that you're supposed to get this because one side is convex. I'll clean that later. I'm just going to put the mirror on. Now before we go any further with installing the nozzle or anything like that, we're going to go ahead and do a test pulse. Um, we'll put a piece of uh, paper here and make sure that we're centered on the hole. So I'm just using a post-it and I'm just going to put it right here. I'm going to kind of use my fingernail to invention the hole that's in this. Okay, so now we're just going to do a test pulse and see where we are. Turn down the uh, amperage here and I'm just going to go in. Okay, and go look at it and see where we are. So you can see we're a little off center. So I'm just going to move this headpiece back a little bit. Okay, 
Yeah, I'd say that worked. All that's left to do is to screw this nozzle on and run our air hose. All right, so we just got our air hose and what we ended up getting is a latex rubber, which is very important that you use something that is very flexible. As you can see here, there's no resistance in this moving because it's got to move in the gantry and everything. So we have to find a way to route this within the gantry so that we can route it along the side here and up with the rest of the wires and then back out the rear of the machine. So that's the plan. Probably should have ran a smaller string or something in here first and then I could have connected it to the hose and then I could have just pulled it through but this seems to be working is I'm just going slow just put a little push on this end here and then kind of pulling you a little bit here with this little hook I'm gonna try this and put some dry lube on here. So definitely one of the tips that we would have for you is to make sure you have some kind of dry lube that you can use to help that silicone rubber, latex rubber uh, go through the gantry or take off the gantry so that you can route this so you don't have to go around this curve or whatnot. But make sure you have enough to where you can get through the gantry and then of course route through the machine out to your air source because you don't want to do this twice. So because I used the hook, to get this through, you can see there's a bunch of little holes. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the end off here. That's not gonna do it. So now I think I'm just gonna cut this off. It's easier to run. Just like that. I think I'll put a little zip tie on there to keep it secure. We're kind of doing this a little bit custom because I did not buy a kit an air assist kit, which would probably come with the tube and everything for attachment. I decided to just source all these things myself, which we'll go ahead and put a link in the description because we don't really need an air source. I mean, eventually maybe we will, um, but we're just gonna use the air compressor that we already have to kind of do this. Okay. And then I'm going to loosely tie these together. Just so it doesn't get in your way. Yeah. And I don't want to pinch it too tight because I want to block the air flow, but just to kind of keep it neat. So now we just need to route the other side of the wire. And we don't want to just go through this hole. I know it would be nice to just like stick in here and then call it good. But the problem will be this gantry has to move. And we want to make sure it doesn't bind anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to route it with all of the other wires that kind of go through. So it stays free from everything. So we're going to go ahead and connect it down here. And then there's a little hole down in this corner here that I'm going to try to work through where all the other wires go through. All right, so now that we're in here, now we can go behind the machine, back here, and then try to route it out back through the hole that's at the back. There it is. This is kind of a hard area to get to. A little bit. I mean, we could take the bed out and make it a lot easier, but it's kind of a lot of work. We have it connected to our air hose or nozzle here. 
goes up through the gantry, free and clear, so the gantry can still move. Goes down here with the wires, this hole here, and then onto this side, and then all the way to the back of the machine, and all the way around, and then out that hole that we wanted to go out of. So now we can connect to our little air compressor here. And I 3D printed this little nozzle thing that connects onto this little uh, regulator so that we can push out just enough air. And it's on a quick disconnect. So that's pretty neat. Now we can use our air compressor to have air assist. We're going to show the difference between air assist on and air assist off to show you why we added an air assist to our machine. And we'll go ahead and show the difference. Okay, so for this take, we're going to do with no air on. And we're just using an eighth inch MDF here uh, for our test. And we're going to try it out. So you can see that there's some smoke, I wouldn't say damage, but soot here on the end. And when it was shooting the laser, which you'll see from the fast head, there's a large flame that kind of stayed along the edge as it was cutting out. Let's see if it actually cut out. It didn't actually go through. So I'm going to leave it right here and I'm just going to run the cutting pass again to see if I can get it to cut through. See, we are charring this pretty badly. Like, that's not good. And that's why we have air assist. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around and we'll do this design again, but with the air on. Turn the power up a little bit on the cut. see the difference right away in the amount of like smoke damage this one you can see kind of a because of the fan pulling the air out kind of pulled it up this way there's just a little bit of it here but it, this one actually cut through in much less passes than this one but I did turn the power up a little bit so there's that but cut free and clear so this was quite the process especially getting that little tube through the gantry I think we could have done some other things first prior to doing it to make it go through faster, like kind of putting a thread through and then pulling it. But it is what it is. We got it through and that's what matters. Yeah, all in all, it wasn't terribly difficult to install this nozzle onto the laser. And I think we're going to be happy with what it provides. As you saw when we did our test of, the, of air assist and no air assist, it definitely keeps the flames down. So we'll make it so that we can get cleaner cuts. So I really do like that. Not only does it provide cleaner cuts, it provides a cleaner look. Right. And in the future, we may get a uh, separate standalone air pump um, rather than using our air compressor. But for now, the air compressor works fine for us. Um, but, it, you know, for longer, longer projects, it may get a little bit noisier in here. But that's okay for now. So there's a few other videos that we've done about this mom port laser, so you can go check those out. But we also are going to have more videos coming. So stay tuned for those. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.